Hi folks, this is Neil. Uh, today is Friday, May the 31st, 2013. A uh, bit of um, uh, update for you guys. Today, uh, actually, I stopped off at a gas station on um, Sharon Amity and Central Avenue here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. It's at a Shell gas station um, right across the street from a Burger King. And um, w went inside and, and bought a protein shake. And uh, when I got home, uh, you know, once again, I drank the, the shake in the car when I got home, you know, once again, I started to feel kind of weird. Uh, in a sense, sending me subliminal messages about, um, you know, whatever that they're, they're you know, my, they're basically tampering these drinks, putting poison or whatever it is that they're putting in there and mind controlling me to, to go and select that particular item uh, to drink. And um, so after that, a series of subliminal messages uh, follows about uh, me not going to the gym or, you know, me um, basically taking, um, you know, taking away uh, whatever, you know, my muscle, my, you know, anything to to basically try to control your life you know if you love to do photography or whatever you love to do dance sing play music or whatever you know then they try to take that away from you and this is all you know to me it's all based on um you know of course it's the the government that's actually doing this but the churches are heavily involved and uh so they'll basically put people in my life being an atheist you know they'll put people in my life that are let's say christian and um you know and, and cause a, a cause of a, a strife or bickering and all that kind of stuff but i don't you know i don't bicker with anybody you know the, the bible is a fallacy it's a fairy tale there's nothing in there that's that can never be proven it's, it's nothing historical about it uh 99 percent of, of of the events that happened there never took place you know um so for them to to do to do this is is, is pointless it's fruitless but i guess like i said every time the weekend comes this is what they do um you know trying to send me subliminal messages about going to church and all this kind of stuff uh, i went to my guitar lesson yesterday and on the way back uh, the sign on the church says don't wait for a hearse um to take you to church or to bring you to church or whatever so you know once again the subliminal uh, messaging about um, you know being killed or whatever and these are supposed to be God fearing people God loving people so what it just goes to show you that you know they're, they're the true character of the of the of the Christians and the Christian church their whole doctrine uh, um, and you know their whole agenda basically is either you know um, accept their God or you know they threaten to kill you or poison you or torture you and all this kind of stuff so it really says something about the Christian religion I'm so happy to be an atheist I'm so happy to to be you know to think logically and to base my life on logic and reason and and compassion and care you know which is something that um, most Christians don't even have within their character it's not in their DNA so uh, you know, their, their thing is control, power, control, money, power, you know, it's same old, same old. And, um, you know, I just want you guys to know that, you know, I mean, whatever your, your beliefs are, it, it is not your, it should not be your agenda to try to force someone to believe what you believe in. It should not be, you know, because that, that is not, it's not your right to do so. And um, so, you know, this is what they're doing to me basically here. Basically, it's um, it's just madness. And once again, my neighbor's upstairs, um, you know, once again, I was woke up in the middle of the night and it was quiet for a while and try to send me subliminal messages about um, about shaving and all that kind of stuff. Because I guess I had a photo shoot this morning and, you know, I guess they were trying to run their little mind control tests on me and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, I went back to bed and um got up early and you know i mean actually once i got back to bed then the noise started i guess because i didn't shave or you know because they were testing this mind control and you know once i didn't do that then they started to make noise upstairs the the cracking of the floor um you know the closets when you open the closet it makes a loud noise so they keep on opening the closet back and forth and um and same thing this morning when i woke up after i went back to bed the, the noise started and and when i came home 
uh, the, the, na the lady upstairs, actually, um, as I was walk coming up the walkway, she was coming down the walkway um, to the left of me. So, you know, it just goes to show you, you know, this, this, this is just madness. And, um, you know, trying to tell me, you know, what I should shoot, what I should photograph, and, you know, trying to manipulate the people around me. So, you know, it really goes to show that these people are psychopaths, uh, they're sociopathic, you know, they're not, they're not normal human beings, you know, they're, they're out of their freaking minds. And, uh, you know, to, to basically try to control someone and um, send them subliminal message about taking my identity, I mean, damaging my DNA, my eye color, like I said, has changed from, from brown to, to gray. And, um, you know, as you can see on my, well, can't really see, but I want to show you my license, but, you know, my eyes have always been dark brown. And, um, you know, this is just the type of uh, genetic research, mutation stuff that, you know, that you have to know somebody to, to, to do something like this to someone. You have to, and, it's, and it's, it has to be someone in the government. It has to be the government because they're the only ones that can keep this hidden. They're the only ones that have the resources to keep this hidden. And um, so I keep making these videos, you know, to, to let you guys know exactly what's happening with me. And, um, you know, I don't want you guys to, to lose, uh, lose hope, um, you know, when you guys are going through this. So, you know, I don't lose hope. And, um, you know, no matter what I go through, and I'll keep going to the gym, I'll keep working out and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, trying to send me subliminal messages about the biblical way. I'm like, the biblical way is not my way, okay? I never believed in it. I never will believe in it. And, um... You know, so it's just nonsense. And for folks to, you know, to to basically allow people to be tortured and, and placed on a mind control um, and think it's okay because, you know, you want to push your agenda. And, uh, you know, it just, to me, it's, it's despicable. And that even goes for certain members of my family. Uh, you know, I don't hate them, but I feel really sorry for them. I really do. I feel sorry for them. I pity them. Um, you know, folks like that, I try not to, to be around much, but, you know, when you have, you know, close-knit members of your family who are participating in this nonsense, it just really goes to show you that, um, you know, that anybody can be heavily influenced and manipulated into, you know, into participating in this. And uh, like I said, you know, for me, if I find myself being manipulated into targeting someone, I would basically remove myself from that person's life because I know what it is to be targeted. And even if I didn't, it, it's not something that I would do anyway. Uh, you know, I respect the sovereignty of human beings. I respect the rights of human beings. And, uh, and, and I wish these people, um, you know, could basically get it through their heads. So, um, and as you can see, my my video keeps getting, it fades darker and light. That's because, you know, something that they're doing, of course. Um, you know, but I mean, whatever. You know, they do what they do. I do what I do. And um, you know, my thing is to just keep you guys aware and informed of what I'm going through. And um, you know, these people are basically Nazis. And, and here's actually, I just bought this book. And um, excuse me one second. Up. So here, I just bought this book, and it's called the. The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, A History of uh, Nazi Germany uh, by Ro William L. Shire. And um, I skimmed through it a little bit. I've, I've actually have, uh, have to finish up reading another book. But, um, you know, these, this is who these people are, okay? For, for a lot of folks that don't know the history of the Catholic Church, um, this is who the Catholic Church is, okay? Most of the Catholic Church are Nazis. Okay, and I'm and I'm saying that because it's something that I really believe. Because when you read the history of the Catholic Church, and you read all the stuff that they have done, okay, especially in Germany, you know they had made a deal with Hitler to to make all the, the school curriculum, um, you know, Catholic based. Uh, in Montreal, you know, this is you know the the, the Plessy children, the the kidnapping, the torture, and the experiments, and the murdering of children. You know, it, it they do this all over the world. You know, they do this all over the world, and um, you know, and this is this is being done here in America as well as 
you know, many other countries, you know, with the blessing of the Catholic Church, you know, which to me is is ridiculous. And um, you know, so I I am a a a proponent and a strong opponent, actually a strong opponent of um, the Christian world, um, of the Catholic Church, strong strong opponent of Christianity, any religion, any religion that uses its its doctrine through violence, uh, physical, psychological, emotional violence on, on folks, the the invasion of folks' privacy, uh, the the basic um, uh, invasion of your rights as a, as a human being, you know, your sovereignty. So I am opponent of any religion, okay, that, that uses those methods to try to manipulate, coerce, and, you know, and basic, try, you know, just try to destroy people's lives. You know, these people are, are heartless. Um, like I said, they're psychopaths, sociopaths, I mean, whatever, you know, they, they're, they're just sick. They are really, really sick. And um, they take fun and pride in what they're doing. You know, they, they taunt you. They try to ridicule you. You know, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, it, it, to me, you know, this stuff is just utterly, utterly ridiculous. And um, it, it's, you know, like uh, like my one of my favorite people, I mean, you know, uh, Christopher Hitchens, uh, who, of course, is no longer with us, but, um, you know, one of my, you know, someone that I admired and, um, you know, hopefully we will reach a point as human beings where we won't need religion, we won't need any evil doctrine, a wicked doctrine, I should say, um, that would, you know, come between us as a human family, you know, to thrive, to, to live peacefully, to live our own lives according to our own accords and um, you know that, that's that's all I have to say today you know it seems like I said every weekend you know it's the same old nonsense and um, you know whatever bring it on that's what I say so anyway you guys have a great weekend and um, I'll make another video soon so take care bye bye